Hey, True Tribe, coming to you from beautiful Belize. Check it out where we are today. And our weather has been spectacular. And it's just beautiful here. The barrier reef is out that way a few miles. That's the town of Placencia over there. And there's not a lot of boats around. There's only two other cruising boats around here today. But that's not what I'm gonna to talk to you. We've got a new inverter and I'm about to install it. But we've been burning up cameras, video cameras, um, chargers, computers even, and computer batteries. We've gone through so much electronics on Saltair 3 with this old inverter that it was time to get a new one. And I'm hoping that this pure sine wave will take away all of our problems and we won't be frying out any more electric devices. Okay, so here is our 3000 watt Go Power industrial pure sine wave inverter. On this end we have the 120 volt wiring that goes in that powers all of our 120 AC units. And it also comes with a remote so that we can turn it on and off from wherever I install this. It's a beauty, look at how big and gorgeous that is. I can't wait to install that. Can't wait to get some pure power, pure electricity coming and not frying out our electronics all the time. Okay, I'll show you our old one. Okay, well, here's our old inverter. It's out now and this thing is heavy. And you can see there's ta blue tape on the top that says Unbound. That was the name of the boat before we bought it but that just shows that it's the original inverter and this thing is so heavy there's no way I can pick it up with one hand so it's a super easy installation it's really the AC wires here the black and the white the cover comes off you can see two connectors inside for the black and the white and then on this side the black and the red positive and negative and then the remote goes in here and away we go so it's pretty much plug and play. I think anybody could install us. I've read the manual from cover to cover and it's just easy. There's a few dip switches to set in here, but nothing serious. It's just a matter of setting it for the 110 or 120 or 220 and the frequency, the 50 Hertz, which is North American or the 60 Hertz, which is European. And this comes with a power saving mode and the power saving mode when it's turned on, it will only draw one watt when the industrial inverter realizes that there's no draw. So it basically just goes into slow mode until you turn it off, of course, and then it doesn't draw anything. Okay, well, the installation is done. I'll show you what I've got here and you'll see how simple it was. It's a little more difficult for me because it's underneath a bunk in the back of the boat. This is where the previous one was mounted. So I just took it out and reattached the cables simple as that um, at any rate here it is without further ado <laughs> simple. so once again I just wanted to show you the remote control for the go power inverter you saw that it's behind our bunk and under our bunk in our bedroom here so it's so nice to have this remote control that I can put anywhere and easy access because lifting up my mattress each time to turn it on or off that would be a pain so our Go Power inverter has been working just awesome. All of our electronics used to heat up under the power that was coming out of the old inverter, but the new Go Power Pure Sine Wave 3000 watt inverter is just working awesome. Here I'm charging my GoPro batteries. Here's our cell phone charging. Nothing is hot, not like it used to be. Over here, I'm charging multiple things that aren't heating up at all and the same with my computer there hasn't been any problems with my computer so, so Krista says that she's noticing a difference too with the inverter yeah before the toaster used to buzz when you turn it on <laughs> and now it throws me off every time I turn the toaster on because I'm like oh can you turn the inverter on it's not on but now it doesn't even make a noise and it's been a few weeks now since we've been using our new inverter and the thing's doing a great job. I can't believe the difference. Our power systems are pretty dialed in here on our Catamaran Saltair 3. We don't have a generator. We've got 480 amp hours worth of lithium ion batteries downstairs below the bunk and I've got 980 watts of solar. There's my solar panels right there. They are just cranking it today. And now with our new inverter, everything is working way better. It's a tough, thing choosing an inverter it's not something you hear about every day you don't go around from boat to boat saying um, what kind of inverter do you guys have on your boat and how well does it work for you it'd be kind of weird knocking on halls saying oh, what kind of inverter do you have 
So if you get a boat and you're not happy with the inverter, give us a shout or better yet, go to gpelectric.com and have a look at what they have on offer. You know, the best thing I can do is to give you my recommendation on uh, what works for us at Solitaire 3, what didn't work before, and the great changes that we've made. So hopefully our experience will do you some good. All right, best of luck, you guys. Tree out.